Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today's going to be a quick recap for week 15. I'm going to keep it short and sweet today. It's Sunday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, this week I made 17 trades, 6 green, 6 red, and 5 blue or break even. And as you can see, a uh, pretty wild week, a little bit of up and down. Wednesday was just a nasty red day. You can see down 46% on that day. Uh, ended the week with a nice plus 36%, but was not enough to pull out of the red. So I'm going to stay focused, keep my head down, and make sure that I'm extra patient like it was the last couple days. And uh, just make sure to wait for that right entry and for things to line up as best as they can. And uh, overall, just kind of be more of a sniper this week. So um, when you have a small account, it's very important to uh, be extra patient, especially, you know, when you're trading with a... Uh, less than 20 if you're trading with 25 percent of your account it's very easy to have a big red day so uh, just being very patient waiting for the order book to kind of get ready to flip so you can limit your losses and and try to make it so you can get to break even as soon as possible uh, those are kind of the strategies i'm going to be doing this week so without further ado let's dive right in here is the account for the week you can see three green days two red uh, but that one red day was just was heavy so um, again, you know, if you saw that video, you saw, I said, if the next day was red, I might deposit more money. Um, luckily the next two are green. So I'm just going to keep the streak going and, um, stay focused. Um, you know, I like the challenge. It's a little frustrating at times, but sometimes I, I just really enjoy that challenge of trying to dig out of that hole, even though you have to be so patient when you're playing with such a small account, um, you know, cause you can only make so many trades, uh, in the day and, that buying power runs out quick so um, here you can see the transaction history if you're new here I'm always transparent always will be and I think that really sets me apart from uh, most people online so uh, if you're new here please like and subscribe greatly appreciate it but yeah that's about all I have for the week it is short and sweet uh, we got a lot of earnings coming out this week as you can see here um, I got this from earnings whispers you can kind of screenshot this if you want or just um, look at it and kind of take note of what's coming out. Um, sometimes it's it's nice to play an earnings play, but just be aware it's very risky, especially if you're going to try to swing trade a position. Um, I've gotten just burnt multiple times trying to play earnings and, and catching the wrong end of it. But on the other end of that, you can make huge gains. You can catch huge gap ups um, if you play it right. So if you're familiar with any of these companies and you feel confident and you know you want to take that risk, um, hopefully this helps you just catch a little bit of awareness ahead of time so you can kind of take note, especially on when it opens, whether it's before the market or after. Um, don't get those confused because I have done that before where I was like, oh no, what the heck? So um, yeah, just little things like that are, are good to pay attention to. But um, those are kind of the things I'll be watching this week. Again, mostly just trade and spy. I might dabble in a couple other things. We'll see. Probably not yet, though. Um, given that SPY has the best options liquidity, it's easier to trade those tiny contracts with SPY. Um, the next best option would probably be the Qs, but even then, the liquidity is just not the same. So that's why SPY is my favorite. And that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to help. And I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Hope you stay happy and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.